Hello everyone and welcome in a new uh, video. So in today's tutorial I will show you guys uh, how to create this animation right here. So we will go through uh, the steps on how to uh, create this uh, MoGraph and of course we will do it in Blender and uh, you will be able to find well this this is the source file for the animation I will be able to find it in the link in the description for a uh, few bucks if you wanna uh, I mean experiment and uh, mess around with the uh, settings maybe get uh, to know uh, more about the animation and the the details about it so well we will go through, uh, we'll try to break down the animation for you. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, we'll open up a new Blender file. Yeah, so we have the default uh, scene file of the uh, of Blender, of course. So first of all, we'll add in a sphere. So the trick with this uh, kind of animation is that we will work, we will try or we will deal with uh, displacements and our work will be only in the shader editor. So we will not, uh, we'll not mess uh, with the mesh, I mean the, the sphere will stay as it is and we will work with displacement. So, I will extend a new window right here and I will choose shader editor and of course you will uh, have to be on cycles so that displacement works for you and another point is you have to uh, subdivide your mesh let's say four times is enough maybe yeah four times is good and let's switch to the uh, rendered mode so since my uh, my laptop is not that powerful. I will try to preview the uh, displacement using the Fresnel node. So let's uh, go step by step. First thing, we'll have the principal DSDF right here. Uh, let's yeah, let's keep it for now. I will add a Fresnel node just to preview the shape of our uh, output. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, as I said, is we'll work with displacements. So we'll search for a displacement node and we put it right here. We plug displacement socket into the displacement of the material output. And another thing that I have to point out is that you will have to go to the settings of the uh, here in the shader editor and over here in the, in the surface in this displacement uh, drop down you have to select displacement and bump so that displacement works now you see that the shape of our uh, sphere has changed so to fix that we have to set the mid mid level to zero like this and we'll start uh, using now our textures so first let's uh, I will try to demonstrate for you guys uh, to two textures I think so that you will have an idea on how this works on and on how the animation works uh, so let's try and bring a wave texture like this press ctrl T so that we have the mapping let's choose the object uh, socket and plug it into the texture mapping and let's take the color of wave texture and plug it into the scale we, nothing happens for now because we don't have a height for displacement to work with so let's choose 0.1 like this yeah so as you can see here we started having some things going on right here so let's put the scale into one as you can see here we started having a uh, basic shape of our animation one thing to point out also is that as I said, if we switch to the solid mode, nothing happens because, as I said before, the uh, the displacement works only as 
uh, in the color space or it doesn't it's not it's not a destructive uh, way of dealing with the mesh so the mesh stays as it is and when we switch to the rendered mode the uh, the magic happens uh, the next thing we're gonna do is to how to uh, make it more dynamic let's say to do this is to add a an empty let's add a plane axis there we have it and here in texture coordinate in the object we select this uh, droplet icon and we select our uh, empty so when we move our empty the the uh, shape of our uh, wave texture changes along with this empty so this is the trick we can even scale it up so that we scale the our texture mapping we can scale it down even we can rotate it like this so that it rotates with the uh, empty so this is a trick on how to uh, animate the, the uh, our uh, our our shape over here so this empty behaves as this uh, mapping node so we have the location we can move it along like, like this. We have the rotation and scale as I've showed you. So the next thing is how to change from a texture to another. So let's try and bring up another texture. Let's say a, uh, let's say, a, uh, sorry, let's say magic texture is good too. Magic texture. And let's plug it into the scale. Uh, as you can see here, now uh, let's try another texture. Uh, let's say the Voronoi texture is good. Let's mess around with these settings. Let's choose uh, distance to edge. Plug it into the scale, of course. Mm, let's choose, yeah, distance to edge. And we can play around. We can also choose maybe F2 and choose GVH or Minkowski. You can. You, know, you can experiment around with these uh, shapes to find the uh, the shape that suits you the most. So I will try just to show you guys how to uh, change from one texture to another using uh, shader editor. So we plug this one into the vector. Let's scale down to one or maybe two. This one is good. So to switch from uh, a texture to another, as you can, as you have seen in the beginning of the video in the, the animation that I've done, you have to choose the a mix uh, RGB and mix these two together. So as you can see, when we slide this uh, factor uh, slider, the shape changes from uh, from one texture to another. So as you can see here, we can so. If we animate this one, we'll have uh, the ability to change from texture to another. Let's do just quick uh, demonstration. I will bring the timeline. Let's uh, keyframe this one. For example, let's uh, choose from zero here in frame zero. You set keyframe, and in frame, for example, fourteen. Let's change it to one and insert keyframe. So if we animate this one, you can see how this texture is changing. You can also animate the empty so that the uh, you will be having a moving, uh, you will be having uh, some uh, dynamic uh, movement here. And you can also, uh, if you want to, for example, add another texture and uh, mess around with it for example let's add uh, let's see what texture we can use maybe mesh grip texture let's plug it into uh, the vector like this if we want to mix it with this one or if we want to make another transition we take the mix and plug it we duplicate the mix and plug it plug the new mesh grip texture so if we want to change this one, we have just to slide it like this. For example, when this is zero, we, we are uh, we are dealing with these two, with the musgrave, uh, with the wave, and the Voronoi. So, when we set 
this one to one, we will have we are, we are having a new texture which is a mesh gray texture. So if I want to preview it just along like this, you will have it uh, on displacement plugged like that. So you can do this uh, over and over. You can add another texture, just duplicate the mix and add another texture. So uh, yeah, that's it. So if you want to see how uh, I've made the uh, if you want to uh, check how I uh, set up the light and all the other stuff, you can check it uh, on the file on description. I just I will just show you uh, quickly how I did that. So I will just reopen the file like this. So as you can see here, I've used a gradient texture to have this. Uh, sorry for the noisy viewport, to have this, th these colors, like that, I've used gradient texture, and I've mixed the principal BSD with the glossy uh, BSDF to have some glossiness right there, and I've mixed uh, a couple of uh, textures, the wave texture, mesh grave, and the Voronoi. So just, you have to play around with these settings, you can find the file in the description to play around with it if you want. Uh, for the light setting, it's just uh, a simple uh, backdrop and some lights. So yeah, uh, I hope that you've learned something from this tutorial. Uh, so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.